Hi, uh, this is Rebecca Sackett. Um, I wanted to show an app I've been working on. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I wanted to kind of show the process uh, and then kind of see what stuff people are interested in. So if you watch it and there's a particular part that you think that you could use, uh, be sure and comment and let me know and I'll post a, a video with more detail on it. Um, we have taken a lot of different apps and I've been putting um, where it's approval processes, but instead of doing it through Flow, especially when there's documents and stuff involved, we're doing it all through the apps. Um, this is all tied to SharePoint list. That's where the data is stored. Um, and then once it's finished through the process, it moves it to an archive so that that way there's not that much data running through here at one time. Um, this is a sign-off process that's done between our service and salesmen, where uh, they each kind of have different portions that they have to do with this process. So um, to begin, um, they go in and the biller puts in a call slip number, and um, they kind of start and they put in the customer's name, and then they can put in who the salesman is. Let me put myself so I can see. And then the biller, which is normally going to be the person who's doing it. I may make that default to the current user. Um, if they say that it does need a PO, then as a spot for them to put a PO number. And if not, they can just leave it as no. Um, same here. Uh, this is just a yes or no on the truck charge and environmental charge. And then they put in labor rate. So now it's going to stay right here on the same screen. And they have several documents that they attach. And these are each on separate SharePoint lists so that they stay separated. Uh, you can put in any special notes if they have. And then we're just going to attach um, the document. So I've got call summary. This only allows for one attachment because they only need to attach one document. And then I hit next. And I'm going to do my cost audit. And invoice. There's four total that they use for each of these. And I've used, we've using this for um, several different apps that are similar processes, but different data, different people involved, things like that. So um, this says, uh, it's just got a little message here. It says it'll automatically go to first pass. Um, would you like to make any additional comments? And you can tag somebody. So if I wanted to uh, let a guy, a, particular person know that, hey, I did this, I could put in a comment and tag them and they'd get an email so that they could go look and see what comment I put, but I'm not going to do that right now. So now it's going to um, look at what the first step should be, which it's always going to be um, this first pass right here. Um, these right here, I'm still working on this front screen trying to decide, but only certain people will be able to get to certain portions. So um, there's really only two people who go here or here or here. So uh, I'm probably going to change this. But for me to um, get it all working right and test it, it's easier for me to lay it out like this. So um, so now it's assigned to first pass. So this person comes in. They can look over the data. Um, I did make it where if I wanted to edit it, let's say I wanted to change this truck charge to yes. See, it'll have this little green check mark and save my changes. But what it also does is it automatically puts a comment that says the truck charge status was updated by me at this time and date. So I don't have to go put in any additional comments telling people that I did it. I can also go over here to the documents and I can view each of these. So I have my call summary, the cost audit, the invoice. Uh, and that's a good thing about doing a PDF is that it'll allow me to um, view all these. I could click here and download it if I needed to do something with it. I can also change it. So I'm going to hit here and go to this screen. And I had a version two I saved. Where? And I can see right now, okay, I clicked on version two. Perfect. And update. This is going to send me back. And now I have version two here. And then now when I go back here, it also add another comment that says that the call summary was updated by a particular person. So I can see the action here it was entered and it was assigned to first pass. I can decide if I want to return it to the person that entered it, which would assign it back to them, or I could say this is good and I want it to go to the salesman. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's good. And now I don't have anything on my to-do list. And the salesman would then get an email that says, hey, you have one to-do. So I come in, I'm the salesman. It's going to filter for anything that has me as a salesman that is currently assigned to the salesman review.
So I can see all the same stuff, same actions. If I change it, this is actually the same screen. Uh, I'm just using switch to um, flip between what happens and what shows. I can see all the comments. I can see the actions here. And I can say, okay, yep, that looks good. I'm going to approve it. So now it would go, it's just kind of working its way down. So now it goes down here and this person can look it over, can see everything. They can see who did what, when, um, same document screen if you wanted to look at it. Um, and this time, let's say I noticed something that the salesman needs to uh, address. So I'm going to send it back to him. So now I'm a salesman. I got a notification that something got sent back to me. You can see this one here is going to be in red because it was returned. And then, um, no, well, I need to make it where you can add a new comment. So if, um, if you return something, uh, I'm probably going to change that where it'll make it pop up automatically and say, you know, uh, need to look at something. So that would kind of let him know. And the other difference here on this is they don't have to put this, but if they wanted to tag somebody, that's going to decide if they get an email or not. So now um, it just kind of keeps going forward all the way through on each of the um, steps. It's really the same for each person. Who did I? If I'm not sure which person it's assigned to, approved review. Okay. Um, you can look in the view all. So I can see all the different steps that have gone on. I can see who. It's harder to tell right now because it's all me. But normally it would be different people or doing different actions. And I can say, okay, yep, this one's ready to post. So here's what I like best of all. Um, at the end of this, if I get in here and I say I need to post. Um, that I've posted it, then it's going to change this to a closed status. So when that happens, all the way at the end. So this one here says, okay, close. So now whenever I close it, it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to create one document that has all of this information at the top, then has a table with all of this information in it and a table with all of this information in it so that it puts it all kind of in one PDF. Um, it's going to create a folder uh, with this call slip number because that shouldn't be duplicated. And it's also going to take all of these documents that I have here, which will be the most recent one that was used, the final document, and put it all in that folder too. So I have a flow that runs all of that at the end whenever this gets closed. So I'm going to go ahead and show the close. And then, hold on, I'll grab that document folder and show you what I got. Okay, so now I have this um, that's short on, uh, it's stored on SharePoint in the Documents folder. Uh, what I typically do with um, a lot of our users, um, our people are not as great at navigating SharePoint, is I'll get them to sync it here so they can just kind of navigate through their file explorer to get to it um, and um, kind of do it like they would OneDrive. So um, it created a folder. It put all of my documents in it that I had attached, and then it created this page, which is what I was talking about, that has kind of the details on it. So it's got all the information here up top, and it lists all of these uh, different actions, when they were done, who did them, and then it lists all the comments that were made. So it kind of gives them one little final place for everything. So um, I really like it though. It, it's working well um, for kind of finishing up stuff where there's not any manual and it just puts each of these little documents in here too. So now I have all these uh, in my closed call slips. It's just putting them in here without me having to go move anything or do anything else with it. So uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to um, show what I've got going here. Uh, I've got a few different things, like I did this one where it would show like the ones by salesman and he could go look and see like where his stuff is, what status. Uh, I don't have a lot of data in here, so it's really hard to see how it works. Um, and then there's one where it does the same for Biller. Um, View Mine would just let me 
as a salesman, go in and see all of my stuff, not just the ones that are waiting on me. So if I can see, you know, where it's at in the process, um, you all, she's going to let you see everything, which it will only be open ones. I just closed that. Uh, and the view comments is just going to let you kind of search for different comments if um, you're looking for something. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share this with everybody. I've got several of these that work similar uh, with slight variations. But if there's anything that I showed in this that you really think that you could find some use for for yourself, uh, please drop me a message on the um, below on the video, and I'll try to do a follow-up one that goes into more details and different aspects of it. All right, thanks.